Hi there, welcome to 9 to 42. I'm Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is on Love is a Bitch by Two Feet. Uh, it was a request on one of my other videos, so if you've got any requests, uh, just put it in the comment section and I'll try and get round to it. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which is 9 to 42. Okay, right, so uh, Love is a Bitch starts like this. <laughs> Okay, let's learn it. So we've only got two parts that we need to learn for this song. We've got like the solo intro, which um, is also the same as the solo after the first verse. And then through the verse, we've got some chords and then that's it. Okay, so the intro starts off based around like A minor pentatonic scale. Um, and we're gonna start on the seventh fret of the D string. So D7. And then with our, so we'll use our third finger for that. And then our first finger is gonna go to G5. And then your third finger on G7. So you've got. But when we hit that G7, we're going to do uh, a number of bends up and down, but it's only going to be semitone bends. So they're quite smallish bends. You don't have to push it too high, but up and down, and it keeps going. It's kind of like a really wide vibrato. Okay, so that's the first little uh, riff idea. Really slowly, it's. up to speed the next phrase goes which is D7 G5 and then we're gonna to go to G9 we're gonna slide not really quickly from fret 7 so you don't really hear the fret 7 you just slide with the third finger up to fret 9 okay so you've got then it goes back to the D7 and then to G5 with some vibrato on. So that second phrase goes or really slow. Back up to speed. Okay, so if we put the first and the second riff together, you get this. Okay, the next uh, idea uh, is kind of like, it goes to the end of that solo, it goes like this. Which is gonna start with another one of those slides, but this time if we use our second finger, uh, it's gonna be easier to go to the next note. So second finger is gonna slide from G7 to G9, really, really quickly. So you don't really hear the seven, you just hear the slide into the nine. And then B8 with your first finger. And then B10, uh, we're gonna do a little flam. So a little hammer on from eight to 10. But it's re again, really fast. So you don't really hear the eight that much. So you got. And then play B8 on its own. And then another one of the sli slides into G9 from G7. And then you're gonna play G7 normally and then play G5. And then we get a little bend up and down. Actually, it's a full tone bend with a pull off going back to um, the fifth fret. So you do G7, bending up and down and then pulling off to fret five. It's quite fast, that little lick. And then finishing off with uh, D7 twice. So that phrase really slowly sounds like this. Up to speed. Okay, let's try and put the whole solo together, or the whole intro, which is the same as the solo. But anyway, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, 
So, like I said, that's the same, the intro, and it's the same as the solo after the first verse. Okay, so the verse starts off with an A minor. We're going to do it as a bar chord. So your first finger is flat across the fifth fret, third finger on A7, little finger just underneath it on G7, or D7, sorry. You're going to play, I'm going to play it finger style. So I'm going to play my thumb, playing the top string, the E string, and then my index middle and uh, ring finger, or like the first, second, and third fingers on the right hand, will play the D, G, and B strings all at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to play the root note the th with the thumb, and then I'm going to hit the other strings and make it staccato, so hit it and cut it really short. The way I cut it short is I just release the pressure on my left hand. And it does that twice. The song is kind of in a 6 8 feel, so it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're going to go down to D minor, which you just take your first finger down one string, so it goes from the A string, bar in the fifth fret, second finger on B6, third finger on D7 and your little finger on G7. Uh, the fingers on the right hand stay the same but your thumb goes down a string so it's playing the A string. And again we do that twice. So, so far we've got this. So that's A minor and D minor. Then we're going to go down to an F chord which uh, we're going to bar the first fret across all the strings, second finger on G2, third finger on A3, and your little finger on D3. Thumb playing the top string, and the fingers playing the same strings. It just does this once, moves up two frets, and then that's a G chord. So you've got F, G, back to A minor place that twice and then it starts all round again so you've got to remember if you've got two A minors at the end and then there's two again at the beginning you're going to be playing it four times so let's play the whole um, uh, of the chords for the verse here we go one two three four five six Repeat, A minor. D minor. To F. G. A minor. On the second time round in the verse, instead of doing the whole A minor, it just plays that root note. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's like seven times. Just playing the top note rather than playing the whole chord. And that's it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that little lesson. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, if you could subscribe to my channel, which is 9 to 42. And if you've got any requests for songs, if you could put them in the comments below, that'd be great. Uh, if you could press the like button, don't take you a second, just press that like button for us. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you next time.